What up, and it's John Shibor, IBS Kelso, coming back with another MX Bikes banger. And today we're going to be diving into a compound so hidden. I mean, so extreme. I mean, strapping, because you're about to witness a track that redefines the word extreme. <laughs> I mean, nestled in the heart of nowhere, basically. I mean, we're covered by trees. This compound is treasure trove. And I mean, high jumps, treacherous turns, and unforgiving, unforgiving terrain. I mean... It's not about the speed here. It's about the survival. I mean, you can see it's a lot of twists, turns, crazy jumps, not looking over. Look at that massive wall jump. You would think that'd be a jump, and it's literally a slowdown thing. I mean, that's beautiful, dude. I mean, the textures is absolutely insane. I've seen nothing but great work here by Hell Machine. This is Bam Bam. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready to get excited. It looks like we have a big motocross track followed by a great supercross track here. And then in the corner, we have an arena cross track. Which uh, we're going to try to tackle them all. I don't think the arena cross is going to be something I'm super interested in. But hey, we're going to have to dive into it. I'm going to have to freaking suck it up. Um, this right here is what separates the weekend warriors from the legends. Every turn, every jump. It's a test of your metal. And believe me, the compound doesn't care about your track record. This is something to where it's a time to practice, time to fill you know, yourself out. Be able to hit every line, you know. And... Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't, without me literally rambling on, rambling on and the yap lord, let's get right into it and uh, do some riding, baby. Right off the bat, my choice of poison for today is a Yamaha 450. I've been hearing a lot of great things about this bike, and I finally decided to get a appearance on it. And I got to say, this bike is absolutely amazing, and I thought it would be the greatest challenge uh, to try to just survive some of these great bumps and try to get into it. So, huge shout out to Gun for creating such a great uh, bike skin for the Yamaha 450. Uh, definitely riding it. So that's why you see the number five on there. But man, so far, first impressions of riding. It's a it's a lot of jumps to where you really can't see over the over the edge. You know, you really have to put some muscle memory into riding this track. Um, I really enjoy this little kind of spot right here. This isn't really sand. It's kind of just would say it's just rollers you know it looks like sand but it doesn't have sand texture so that's going to be amazing you're not really getting slowed down in here nice little rollers into some triples maybe cut down in this first rhythm in this first little berm i mean i love how he uses up the whole compound here i mean i really do and uh it's it's kind of like a flat terrain and then you start kicking off into some great big jumps uh, you gotta be watching out for some doubles. Once again, another rollover step up double. I mean, that is just amazingly crazy how that is scaled, and it's so amazing. And I believe this is a huge triple you saw in the corner, which allows you to just plant yourself so well for that outsiding uh, rail. And holy smokes, dude! I gotta say, Help Machine, I'm so excited with everything you've created, other from Midsummer Carnage, Midsummer Carnage 2. I mean, you've been absolutely killing it from Steichenberg. I mean, those are just a few tracks from the legend himself, and it's it's perfect. It's perfect, and I cannot complain. Um, I will always say it. Uh, anytime that Hell Machine drops something, it is just collateral and equity, man. I, I got to say, he has nothing but shown bangers from bangers on bangers. And uh, this track is on the shop. It's for $3. Um, I know that really upsets a lot of people, but like I said, some people really do deserve giving that little contribution, especially for $3 for such a beautiful track. I mean, he literally puts his money where his mouth is. You know, he's not going to give you something to where it's like, ah, you know, I'm going to get bored in the first literally two seconds of writing this. This is challenging. I mean, I'm literally kind of just peeking out as I literally could not make that triple. Oh, gosh, I did not fall. But it's challenging. I mean, I'm literally kind of taking it half, maybe 50% right now. I'm still trying to understand the track. But, man, I mean, just look at this. Oh, my goodness. That is literally on me, but I mean, let's just take a breath in. Let's go up on this freaking little tabletop right here and just understand, like, what are we looking at here, dude? I mean, you've got a super cause track right over there. You've got the American flags over here entering the compound, the gate. I mean, that's really like, that's like right us on a side of the highway as if you're riding. You're like, yo, you just see this whole compound. I mean, that's so insane to me, dude. I think Hell Machine, you literally killed it with this track. And, um, yeah, I mean, let's just ride a little bit harder. Let's uh, let's t uh, tough it out. Um, I see that there's a lot of good braking bumps in here, and I believe I have a pretty okay setup for this uh, Yamaha, so we're going to have to dive in. Let's go and get some uh, engine braking. Let's roll up. Nice little double here. Back into the sand slash rollers. So this isn't really sand. This is basically just regular, regular dirt. This is amazing, actually. 
I wonder if it would have been cooler if you would have gotten the sand to where it's like you got like that that mixture of uh, regular terrain to you. Oh, no, 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 no. Wow, wow, wow. That's the only thing I say about the Yamaha. This thing is super bouncy. <laughs> but yeah, I'm glad that it's not sand and then I'm not, I'm happy, but I'm not happy to where it's like, you know, sand always kind of brings a little bit more excitement for you to work a little harder in certain spots. I think sand rollers are always fun. It allows you to really dive deep to like continuously hit some of this. But yeah, once again, that's not like a thing to deter me. It was just something to where it's like most most track creators you do see do create sand rollers. And he did not create that. He said, I'm not going with the grain. I'm going against the grain. I'm just going to create it how I want, you know. And I really do enjoy that as well. Like all power to you, you know. And uh, I got to say that triple onto here is probably very satisfying. It's a really cool like little transfer you got going on. More rollers really got to do it now i would say for the most part a 450 would probably be best for this for this track maybe 125s as well if you really wanted to rip and grip i think 125s might do this track super justice um i don't know where i really would fit the 250s in here i think the 250s could would really get it wrong and i don't think the 450 is overkill i think this is perfect really to just showcase i mean wow dude that right there could be either detrimental or very time saving if you do not know where you are on that track and you go overboard it's gonna be a bad time for you nice little double kind of oj on that but a nice little double again i want to try to get this middle this inside rut amazing rail this one's gonna be a nice little table from last time though no, i did mess up on this i oj the heck out of that freaking table we're gonna have to come back around again dude oh man i love the scaling dude it makes you fight for being correct it makes you fight for being correct and i just want to one more time i mean look at this it's just straight beautiful straight freaking beautiful i can't ask for a better track this to me personally this is probably compound of the year um and i know we're in april <laughs> but right now i don't know how it gets better unless he ends up dropping another banger of a compound within the year but that'd be <laughs> excuse me wild but man oh man dude and get up on the step it's almost that's almost like a dragon's back that's actually really cool it's almost like a dragon's back slower down let's cut inside nice all right double a boom baby ride it out take this middle one this time take this middle one is again back up to third gotta be careful in here i really want to like apex and understand the best that's lines to take in here because I don't want to keep jumping out like I did before. And right there, I'm like low key out of rhythm. Nice jumping about the second one in there. Probably could hug tight, and that'd probably be even a better line if you really wanted the apex. It's not really long. Like the rollers aren't really that long, and that, I like that. That's just like a little like detour to where it's like, oh man, you catch a break from literally having to do so much jumps. Literally, it's a lot of brain power, I should say. It's a lot of brain power in this track. Uh, over jumping under jumping and just getting the right scaling down i've got <laughs> dude it's amazing oh oh yeah last uh hell machine track i really did as a uh as a review on was steikenberg and man i enjoyed that track too and like i said man sand tracks are awesome dude. sand tracks are awesome and that's why i thought i was gonna he was gonna bring a little bit of sand in here but he went completely away from it i've also done a video for his from uh, midsummer carnage one very very long long time ago when like i very first started this game it was like early 2023 and uh yeah man i've always just enjoyed hell machine's work and uh baked always praises this man uh shout out to baked as well baked always says hey man if you're really looking for someone that like is worth putting the money into <laughs> it's it's definitely uh the boy hell machine dude i literally just willied that could not bring it down yamaha has got a lot of power dude Yamaha's got a lot of power into it. All right, don't OJ this. Nice. Now we can hit this amazing triple. I mean, I love how the triples are formed as well. They don't look like just regular super cross triples or a regular triple. Like, they got, like, a different height on them every time. Got a nice little different height on them every time. They hit another nice little double. Kind of OJ that. We're going to have to go for more scrubs here. Yeah, I definitely think a 125 would be absolutely beautiful on this track. Definitely gonna have to try that on my off time. Little dragon's back step up. A huge, massive table. We'll go to the outside this time. Real all that. This is a nice little double. Get a scrub in there. Back to the rollers. Yeah, man. I, three three dollars. I think it's completely worth it, especially if you're looking for something to practice and train on. This is this has got like everything, the best bang to your buck. 
here we go. I did not get off excursion there. But this is this is where extreme is extreme, because wow. Beautiful. Now I wanted to get um I wanted to get some races going on this. Um I had just probably got done streaming maybe an hour ago. I wanted to get some races done on this, but um, you know how everything goes with paid tracks, man. Just nobody really likes doing them anymore, you know? Or like it's it's a different weird of clout to where it's just like it's either the 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 people flow with it or they don't flow with it. Oh man, I like low key that again. It's either people to flow with it or they don't. And I think right now I, I need to like literally tell the IBS Kelso community. This is a flow, this is a banger, especially if you want to learn. I mean, I just came out with a corner, how to corner better at video. So if this is something you really want to work on your corners and understanding track, this is where it's at. I mean, Hell Machine, dude. Once again, like I do not do track reviews at all, but I think you always deserve it when you come out with a banger. Um, you have my you you've won my heart for sure <laughs> multiple times over. So we're just gonna keep growing on it. I, it looks like I get ran like a 230. Probably not a really ideal good lap, but somewhere around there. Nice. Guy's just riding, cruising for a bruising. God, this is a double double. Man, this track is so huge. You gotta like, I'm like starting to pick it all up, but I'm not starting to pick it all up. Nice double. Still land here and triple. Nice. Take the inside, nice little break. I like the little breaking bumps that you have like on the bottom of that freaking uh, triple. It actually really helps out. Nice little step over wall, which is beautiful. Oversent this, but honestly, you can jump into it because you're probably not going to fall. Probably be a good line as well, unless you wanted to scrub. See what the inside line looks like. That's not bad either. Probably could save you some time onto your little step up. Dragon's back. Nice huge table. Inside, we're gonna go for a double. Gotta have, just have a really good line here. All right, back into the outside, towards the front entrance of the compound. Nice. So finally, I feel like I'm getting a pretty good groove here, so now I'm just really starting to pick it up on the speed. Up into the second one, little wheel tappers. Third gear, just double it through. Nice little big double. Oh, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay, we're okay. Oh, nice. Step up over. Nice little scrub. All right, don't be stingy on this freaking jump. I was stingy again. I went stingy, but that's okay. I was still able to connect over here to a nice little double. Another scrub into some rollers. That's a little small table, but allows you to jump into it with a nice big double after that. Breaking bumps, let's cut to the middle. First rut, another scrub. I love these little scrubs. You really cannot see over any of these uh, like little jumps, which I enjoy. Like if you d you just don't know what's coming unless you really have the track knowledge. Like I really enjoy that. It's a different aspect. I love the dragon's back coming up, breaking bumps. It's kind of just showing you, hey, like, hey, bro, you better be prepared. You better start slowing it down. And this is a double. Double. All right, let's go first gear. No. Nice little table, shallow. You can see where you can jump into it. And that right there, my friends, is where I'm cooking with the sauce. I mean, let's go ahead and head over here to Supercross. I got to figure out which way this goes. Figure it out here in a second. I think it's this way, yeah. Yeah, it's definitely this way. All right, bet. Yeah, I like that. I like that a lot. This is the Supercross side of it for Hell Machine. That's a nice little triple. Kind of automatically imagine that was a triple. I could have literally been in for a rude awakening, but let's see what these whoops look like. Oh, eating these up, chat. This is about, like, guys, this is about to be my favorite new test track for Supercross, bro. This absolutely feels like a completely great. I mean, this scaling is absolutely wild. Now you've really intrigued me to like a different aspect. Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah. Hell Machine, bro. You've outdone yourself. You can definitely table onto that. Definitely table onto that. We'll come back around. You've outdone yourself, big man. Oh, all right. So that looks like that's going to be the big rhythm section into a dragon's back. Oh my God. That's a little doubles. You can't really see them that much. 
Yeah. <laughs> Yo, dude, he's done me dirty, baby. Get a nice little triple in. Another triple. Oh, nice to on the table triple. Single off. Uh, single off and single again. Nice little super cross triple. Definitely don't want to uh, over jump that. We got some nice great whoops here. Let's try fourth gear. Third, back to second. You definitely jump over that table and it probably quad out. So we'll try that for next time. Nice little super cross triple, nice and shallow. Back up to third. All right, let's go ahead and try for a triple in. Oh, I can basically quad. I can basically quad. Okay, we're dude. You're in some fun lines here, bro. There's some fun lines here, dude. You've got me down, bro. Like I've been so into Supercross lately, dude. It's been absolutely wild. Like I'm not taking anything away from that motocross track because it's absolutely beautiful. But man, Supercross takes so much skill, and especially to like just like come on here and be like, yo, this is so sick. Go double it actually this time and triple. Oh, nice. Then we get triple out. Wow, so there's even more alternate lines. So you can actually get that triple again. You can see like how high it is. You really don't, you really can't really take it. But we'll triple out or a nice little single. Probably quad it. Go up to third. Let me see if I can jump over. Be nice and gentle on it. Over the table. Triple out. Nice. Nice. Super cross triple again. Nice. Go for a super cross. I mean, triple in. Oh, basically quad in. I, I keep forgetting about that. Nice. I can basically almost quad out too. Dude, this track is fun, Hell Machine, bro. What did you get me into, bro? <laughs> what did you get me into, man? Oh my god, I'm having too much fun with this right now. Let's try this inside spot to double to a triple. Okay, this is the line I think I was looking at. You probably quad on this table. <sighs> That is huge. Probably could qual on that table, but we'll go for the triple. <coughs> Man, the line choices are crazy. All right, finally didn't OJ that. We'll single out. Nice. Easy peasy. You don't want to OJ this. Probably cut down close. Wow, you could cut down close. So you you you, you can cut down close and jump over the table, and as you just want to grease it, because if not, you're gonna get that little weird bounce, but you can still hit the triple. So you want to be completely perfect with it. Oh man, I'm gonna have to look out with something like this. Let's go double in onto the table, off the table. Ah, kind of weird for me. It's kind of weird for me. That was a that was a bad one. Alternative line from like the regular line. Probably go over the table as well if you if you have the speed. But I mean, Yamaha 450 is kind of just putting it on. I did not expect this bike to do that great for motocross um, and supercross. And I gotta do a, go ahead and shout out to Skills. I am using this one from his uh from his discord uh he is part of hsm and he does support us with uh great setups so i just thought like hey man i didn't put that one on so shout out to skills bro uh, skills has been coming up in some of my servers as well so we'll leave it. oh gosh oh gosh oh we saved it well let's go ahead and cut down again right here jump over nice you just don't want to over exaggerate it right you don't want to over exaggerate you just kind of want to float like a butterfly right there float like a butterfly here Triple, oh, quad actually. Quad, nice. Triple. And then triple. Wow, oh, dude. Oh my god. Give me on that X Gangs Mo. Gotta stop it, chat. Oh my goodness. Oh no, I almost went over. Yo, beautiful, dude. Hey, top 10. Top 10. Top 10. I was actually gonna do a triple in there. I mean, I, I hope right this right here, you guys can just see my lines and see how, like, I literally uncover some of these supercross tracks and like as i continue to grow progress you can just see my more lines here you can't quad out of that i mean i feel like you could if you really had the speed i mean the whoops are beautiful dude the whoops are absolutely beautiful. nice little over it probably didn't even want to like over jump that triple because you can really apex it in and you can probably have a really good line here holy smoke i probably even really just whoops on my freaking skills mode triple in I mean quad in triple triple that's definitely the main line that's definitely the main line you probably go quad quad maybe maybe go quad quad if you can downside it correct yeah that's a super cross track guys man i'm having too much fun dude i'm having too much fun let's see what this arena cross is i'm not on a small not on a small 
track a Ruski here, so you know on a small bike, so let's see what's up. Oh wait, I think it's like a wraparound. Do some nice whoops. My bad. Yeah, this is super small. It'd be like a double double. Like a double double. Maybe triple in on this 450 and then nice big jump though. Holy smokes. I did not expect that jump to be that big. <laughs> I did not expect that jump to be that big. <laughs> Go back around. So it's arena cross. So this isn't like really a small bike. It's just arena cross. So you can actually get a triple in. Double. So this is really just running it right back and forth. Like literally practicing these jumps over and over. So arena cross really isn't just small bikes. It actually is 450s, 250s. It's just really compact riding. Which I say is like so crazy that people. Nice triple in. Nice. Yeah, man. I mean, this is a little arena spot. I mean, I'm not gonna spend too much time because it's just literally running circles. But yeah, let's uh, let's just look around now. I guess <laughs> let's look around. Uh, wait, wait a second. What does this look like, Chat? Guys, I'm, I don't know why I said Chat. This this right here looks like um. If I'm not mistaken, this looks like uh, what's his name's house from uh, GTA Trevor's. How much is this Trevor's house, bro? bro? I don't know. Let me know, bro. I feel like this is Trevor's house. This definitely looks like Trevor's house. Absolutely. This definitely has got to be Trevor's house from freaking GTA, bro. Oh, my God. This definitely got to be it, man. I mean, there's no no other way around it. But let me know, bro. <laughs> uh, he's even got his nice little spot. I wonder if you can get in this. Or is it closed? But, I mean, he's got his own little spot. But, I mean, yeah, I mean, this, this is the compound, dude. I mean, let's see if we can ride. I think I saw a little trail on the outside. I don't know if this leads to anything or is this just an outside trail as if like you were like riding the little go-kart spot let's see though oh wow it actually goes outside the gate oh it does oh wow so that's this is the outside of the gate oh you can, you know what light the bulb 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 Dude, ah, uh, yep, you know what that, you know what that means, dude. Oh my goodness. Wow, that's crazy, bro. That is crazy, man. Yeah, this is the, this is the compound, dude. I gotta say right now, <laughs> a tell machine, bro. You got me, bro. You got me, like, you got me stumped, man. This is beautiful, bro. Yeah, other than that, just bushery, you know, all, the whole nine yards. <laughs> nice little jump up here, man. Nice little step up and then step down. I mean, beautiful. So, yeah, I mean, without further ado, guys, this is, you know, Bam Bam. Um, Hell Machine, bro. Thank you so much, bro, for literally just coming out with another banger and keeping us all entertained. Um, I'm going to be trying to get some more content uh, thrown up on this track. So, yeah, other than that, it's your boy IBS Kelso. I hope you guys did enjoy. Um, you know, you see this, the right... Right here is what separates the weekend warriors, man. Legends. Hopefully, right now, this is as intrigued you to spend at least three dollars. <coughs> Excuse me. And uh, yeah, that's it for me, man. Hopefully, this is intrigued you to get Bam Bam. It's on MX Bike Shop, man. I'll put the link down in the description. Bro. Other than that, it's your boy IBS Kelso, and I'll catch you guys in the absolute next one. Pa 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 pa.